welcome you to Art to Heart. Uh, these are very special interviews, um, just to open the heart of the artist to the public. Uh, they're going to be able to see your marvelous works uh, in the magazine. They're going to see your works in the video. But I kind of want to introduce you, you know, in, in the heart. And who is Zoe uh, Summer for, you know, the ones that are going to be enjoying your work. So tell Thank us you. a little bit about yourself. Thank you, Viviana. Um, well, the purpose of my art actually is to create a heart connection for the viewer which brings them infinite gifts. So in their inner world, it brings them inner peace, it increases their self-love, and how that translates to their outer world is that it brings a lot of experiences which we would label as success in life. Because when you have your personal heart connection, you are in alignment with all that you desire in your life. And that actually is why I create my art. Very profound. I'm, I'm well, so the way it works is, it, it, it might sound a little wordy, um, is that I believe, and at least what happens for me in my experience, is that if I'm fully present and my heart is as pure as possible in that moment, and I'm, I'm putting all of myself and all of love into the art piece, it's translated that way. And so I do it through form, I do it through color, I use a lot of symbols, and uh, I believe that that's how it happens, and I guess we could call it magic. <laughs> it is magic. It is magic. It's uh, the divine presence, right? It's, it is magic. I believe in that. Um, yeah. However anyone subscribes to that, I, I honor everyone's beliefs. And I, what happens is, and what I've had people tell me, that their experience is this, that when we connect within, we do tap into whatever is powerful in our life. And it empowers us at the same time. And that's what happens. And when people view my art, that is what I hope to be their experience. Fantastic. And that's your point of creation, which is great. I love that phrase. Thank you, Viviana. Yes, yes. <laughs> So tell us about the younger Zoe. Uh, when did you discover that you wanted to be an artist? Well, I, I love that question because I feel that it's imperative to stay young at heart, no matter what our chronological age is. Age is just a number, right? However, um, thinking back, I really started to create with, with materials as young as four. My grandfather, my paternal grandfather at the time used to, go out into his yard and dig deep down into the ground and pull clay, real clay, at the base of the, you know, the deep down in the ground for me. And I actually started as a sculptor, and I still do sculpt. Um, and then my dad and my mother both provided me with paints and, and created a space for me for me to escape and create. And, and then as time went by, I used to, I probably about the age of six and eight, I used to create what I call these these fairs, which actually were galleries, where I would sell my sculptures and my paintings to my parents, and we would we would kind of negotiate the price. Sometimes I would give it to them for free, and sometimes they would you know maybe give me a couple of American dollars. Or, um, but looking back, I realized that was the experience. It was uh, I believe that everyone is an artist. No matter what their tool, maybe it's marketing, maybe it's um, negotiation, maybe it's that they sweep the streets. It doesn't matter. It's some, uh, as you pointed out, it's a point of creation. It's something that brings them well-being. It's something that keeps them in the moment. And it's something that makes them feel very alive. And I think that's what art is. Yes, yes. Tell us about the works that you are presenting at the 18th Top 60 Masters of Contemporary Art. Well, first of all, I appreciate the honor very much. Um, one of the pieces is called, actually, Infinite Gifts. Another is called Synchronicity. Uh, there's one called um, Salute to New York City, Follow Your Inner Compass. And the fourth is called The Rhythm of Time. And the common thread between all the pieces is what I just expressed, is really to help viewers, as they look at each painting, I call it luxury art, and what I call it luxury art is that you luxuriate in it. And I don't mean it necessarily as it being overwhelmingly expensive monetarily. What I mean by luxury art is the luxuriation of 
having the painting draw you in and keep you in the moment and then bring through that heart connection. So that is the common thread between those paintings and all my work, including my writing, actually. I, ha I write as well also. And I have a blog called Heart Connection Blog. <laughs> oh, wow. I didn't know that detail, so you have to share that with us as well. Thank so you. People can subscribe at zoesummer.com, which is my name. Okay, okay. So tell me more about your writing. I know you have a book coming out. Can you talk to us about it? Oh, uh, yes. I just um, have a new book. It's called You Are Enough. And in it is my artwork. And this time it's not actually using acrylics. It's using my photography. And it's not using a digital camera. It's using an iPhone. So it's the new mobile photography. And to my knowledge, it's the first published mobile photography book. And it includes um, mini mantras I've created again to help people come within and have that heart connection. And it's called You Are Enough. Exciting. I, I already want a copy. <laughs> so I'm going to be on your waiting list. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> All right. What plans do you have for 2016? Well, it's a beautiful question, and I appreciate that gift. Um, I really do effort at walking my walk and talking my talk. And so what that includes is, is I do have plans, yet I, I've also really realized that when, when we really do feel empowered and we are really living in the now, that if we really stay in that moment, synchronicity happens even more and things just land in your lap that you really are aligned with. So I feel like my plans are too small and as long as I let things unfold, that's, that's where the plans come together. In answer to your questions, always in another way, it's always to create more art, it's yes. to keep writing, it's to um, have more self-awareness, which I feel is the best way I can serve others. It's always about serving others. Wow, thank you so much, Zoe. Very inspiring. This has been a very inspiring moment for myself. So I know it's uh, it's going to be very inspiring for anyone who's who's listening to you right now and who's going to be listening. You know, the words and the energy keep flowing because the interview stays and people are going to be able to watch again and again. Um, so much to learn. I agree. Thank you, Viviana. <laughs> yes. Thanks for the opportunity to share. Yes. And before we go... I don't want to let you go without you sharing your website so and uh, in the in the blog so that we can go and check it out. Thank you. The website zoesummer.com, C O E S U M M E R, just like the season.com. The blog is called Heart Connection, and if people are interested, they can read it and subscribe there. All righty. Thank you so much for sharing this moment with us. Take care, Viviana. <laughs> If you're an artist and would like to participate in our Art to Heart interviews, feel free to contact me at info at arttointernational.com and share your story of inspiration. The wonderful world of the arts awaits for you here at Art to Heart. See you soon.